Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn to create a water text reveal. This is 100% editable, you can change your text easily. So, let's get started. First of all open Adobe After Effects. Go to Composition. And create a new composition. I am calling it Water Wave Text Reveal. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels. 30 frames per second. Set the duration to 7 seconds. Go to Toolbar, and select the Text Tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and type your text. Then align the text to the center. Select the Rectangle tool. Set the fill color to solid color. And set the stroke to none. Now, draw a rectangle to cover the whole text. Rename the shape layer to Wave. Select the shape layer. Go to Effects and Presets. Search the effect Turbulent Displace. Drag and drop to the shape layer. Go to Settings. Set the amount to 55. and set the size to 45 or 50. Make sure you are at the first frame. Then click the offset turbulence to add a keyframe. And slightly drag the small circle to the left side. Go to about 4 seconds on a timeline. Then drag the circle to the right side. Now, press P to open Position Properties. Add a keyframe. Then drag the keyframe to the 4 seconds. Go back to the first frame. And then change the rectangle position. Select the text layer. Go to Track Mat. And select Alpha Mat. Let's preview it. Cool. It looks perfect to me. Now, press U to reveal all keyframes. Then drag the position keyframe to 6 seconds. Select all keyframes. Right click on it. Go to Keyframe Assistant, and choose Easy Ease. Cool. Let's drag the offset keyframe to 5 seconds. Right click on the text layer. Go to the layer style, and select Gradient Overlay. Go under the Gradient settings. Click on Edit Gradient. Change the first color to dark blue. and the second color to light blue. Again right click on the text layer. Go to the layer style. And select bevel and emboss. Go under the bevel and emboss settings. Change the altitude to 80 degrees. And change the size to 15. And change the angle to 144 degrees. Then change the highlight opacity to 100%. Let's preview it. Looks perfect to me. 
Select both layers, then right click. And choose pre-compose. Rename it to water text. Now, create a new solid layer. And rename it to bubbles. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect of CC particle systems too, then drag and drop to the solid layer. It looks like normal particles. Let's change some settings. Go under the particles. Change the particle type to bubble. Now, add a keyframe. And change the birth rate to 3. Go to about 4 seconds on a timeline. Then change the birth rate value to 0. And change longevity to 3.0. Go to producer. Change the radius x value to 85. Then change the radius y value to 0. Go under the physics. Change the velocity to 0 0.5. and gravity to minus 1. Change the birth size to 0. And death size to 0 0.45. Change the size variation to 75%. Change opacity map to constant. Now, change the birth and death color to white. Cool. Now, drag this little circle to the bottom side. Let's change the resistance to 55. Now, drag the layer to about 2 seconds on a timeline. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Drag the second keyframe closer to the first keyframe. Select both keyframes, right click. Go to Keyframe Assistant. And choose Easy Ease. Cool. Now, select the water text composition layer. And make it duplicate by pressing Ctrl plus D key on the keyboard. Then drag it just above the bubbles layer. Select the bubble layer. Go to track mat and select alpha mat. Check the results. Let's change the longevity to 5. Let's create a background. Let me do it faster to save your time. Now, check the final output. The results are amazing. This is 100% editable. Let me change the text. Cool. I hope this was helpful, and you've learned a lot from this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.